Hey everybody, this is Shane Smillian and I'm going to be giving you an update here on multi-charts and uh, this is a software uh, that I've been using um, since the summer and I, you know, my primary system that I use is Metastock uh, when I'm coming up with ideas uh, for, for trading systems, right? And we know that my one day trading system here is, is developed and run and back tested in, in Metastock but one of the problems is that I have to run uh, this, I have to run all the back tests by hand in Metastock, right? And I do that for a reason. I'm kind of stubborn about that because I don't want to do a curve fit to optimize a, um, a, specific, um, a specific set of parameters that, that are just optimized based on what the computer looks at. I always try to optimize and do my back testing based on uh, concepts and principles, okay? But now I think it's time. Uh, I'm converting on the one day. I'm converting over to to multi charts, and um, you know I, I've been programming. I've been kind of just re reacquainting myself with uh, multi charts here, and I'm using Mercury's retrograde right now. So I'm kind of going back and relearning about this, and it's actually going pretty well because this is something that I'm redoing in a Mercury retrograde. We know that Mercury retrograde is when you're supposed to redo things. Okay. And right now, Mercury's in Pisces, and there's a lot of Pisces planets. And in my in my chart, that's uh, the fifth house of uh, speculation. So that's pretty good uh, to be to be looking at specul speculation in a Mercury retrograde period in Pisces for Scorpio, which is me. But enough of that. I want to talk to you about this program here. And what I've been doing is I've been taking just some really basic um, trading systems, and I've just been optimizing those. Uh, based on uh, multi charts just to reacquaint myself with the software I'm coding I'm putting in the functions I'm putting in the signals it takes some time to relearn to relearn the program and basically the program here can um, you know it can take these um, systems and it, it basically will create the buy and the sell signals here you can see them here and this is pretty pretty heavy duty pretty heavy duty software I would say it's not um, it's not crazy in terms of uh, the programming, but it uses something called Easy Language, which is the same as TradeStation. And then it will go ahead and it will actually show you all the buy and the sell signals uh, that it generates uh, for it for a given system on the chart. And then you can see these lines here. This is this is you know this is a, a buy. This is a sell. And it tells you if it made money, if it's a green line, if it loses money, it's a red line, etc. So. Anyway, so here's the, here is the system here, and um, I'm running a pretty basic system right here in terms of uh, an optimization. And uh, you know, the idea was I just I'm just reacquainting myself with multi charts. You can see here that if you would have done a, a buy and hold of the S&P going back to I think this was about 1998. You know, the market was all over the place. We know that we had the bull run into 2000, it dropped into 2003, 2002, 2003, then it ran all the way up into the 2007, then it crashed in 2008, and now we're on this leg up again here. So I, I want to point something out though here. Um, th this is not my trading system, by the way. This is just a very, it's just a very basic system. I'm optimized it just to kind of go through the parameters again in multi charts, just to kind of reacquaint myself uh, because I'm in the process now of rolling everything over. I think it's time to do that. But this is the period into here. Now notice this is the period into here where the Fed came in right around March. You know, see this March bottom into here. That's the Federal Reserve, right? So all of this is Fed stuff into here, right? So I just want to point that out because I want to show you uh, the, an equity curve here, okay? This is an equity curve based on one contract, one contract, percent of one contract. In other words, this is not reinvested dividends, right? And you're not reinvesting your profits. You're just betting one contract. And you can see here there's a very steady equity curve. I mean, we had one little drop into here after 2000, but more or less you can see the drawdown in here is very low. That's the kind of stuff you want to see uh, when you have an equity curve. Now remember that that you know that this this is this is basically reflecting a very choppy period into here, and yet it still continues to show a smooth curve into here. So again, this was a you know pretty basic system, but again it it was able to show you know a nice smooth curve right and then we saw into the crash into here it spikes up into the crash and it peaks right around March you know March right around March 5th somewhere in there March 11th something in there now if we go back uh, for a second we go back to the buy and hold when what period was that 
that was the bottom that was quantitative easing begin so let's go back for a second here and take a look at our curve here the curve peaks out here right peaks out at about 90 99 percent right there right when quantitative easing begins take a look at that isn't that interesting and then all of a sudden it goes sideways 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 right that's just unbelievable I mean this is showing you very clearly here that the market is not responding anymore to this particular trading system again this is not my trading system per se but it's a trading system that makes money it's a decent one it's, it's, a, it's, it's a solid trading system all of a sudden it just goes dead into here you see that why did it go dead why, all, why would it just go dead all of a sudden right because this is not a natural market this is the Federal Reserve manipulating the market and that's why it makes no sense into here that's why there's people have been really struggling with this since 2009 that's why it's difficult to forecast this thing because it's so controlled by the government and the central banks that it's it just makes especially like the astrology and all that stuff it just makes it really difficult but fortunately my new trading system has made money all throughout this period into here made a lot of money right so now I'm, that's why I'm moving this over into multi charts, but I just wanted to point that out. And I mean, and even this trading system, like I said, it made it made 99%. That may not sound like a lot over 10 years, um, but keep in mind that that's you know that is um, basically not reinvested. So that's I think that's a pretty solid little system there. I mean, that's you know um, you, you you know you can see that it, it it did well. I mean, it did. Let's just say if that's even 10 years, it did 100% in 10 years. That's 10% a year. You know, if you want to compound that, you know that makes that makes a pretty good return, um, more clearly more than 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 100% here. So anyway, the the point is that the thing just died, flatlined after after that March period. So the goal in here, the challenge was to create a new system that works in any market conditions, and that's what I think I have here with my one day, and I'm just uh, you know I've back tested this thing now through, you know, 2011. I've got really good results, but now. I'm going to put it to the test in terms of the uh, the multi charts over the the longer haul. I just wanted to share that with you though in terms of this particular system that um, did was very consistent for a long period of time until the quantitative easing began. So that's all I've got for you tonight. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.